Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well. I just got a box from FedEx and I think it's my deluxe bucket seat trim for the 67 Fastback. That's a really hard to find item that I, I bought from eBay that includes the backing plates and the stainless trim. So in this video, I thought it'd be interesting to do a quick little unboxing of what that looks like because it's really hard to find that stuff in decent shape. Let's take a look at it. Here we are. So the seat trim is in fantastic shape. I am really, really happy with the condition that it's in. So you can see that this is like the, the plastic pieces here. And each of the plastic pieces has a piece of the stainless trim that runs along the side. And man, these are just really great. It is a trick to find these in good condition. Um, and these are in great condition. You can see there's some things that uh, aren't perfect, but for a piece that's, you know, close to 60 years old, give or take, um, man, these are fantastic. So these here, three of the four pieces are this like dark kind of olive green color. And this piece here is black. Obviously, I'm going to want black everywhere. So I'm going to have to paint these pieces to match, which is no problem. But just the condition of the stainless phenomenal really phenomenal all, all the trim on this is in really good shape the clips that uh, fix it to the seat all the screws look really good um, over on the seat backs let's take a look these are again really really great there's no cracks at all which is almost unheard of for again a piece of plastic that's this old you can see it's got this um, grained style texture that matches what the factory door uh, insides look like. Really cool grain. Again, these also have stainless. Here's the one visible ding that I saw. Again, that's something that uh, you know somebody who's really good with stainless trim would be able to fix pretty quickly, easily. The rest of it, again, is in really nice shape all the way through. Um, you can tell these are factory Ford pieces. There's not reproduction. Ford numbers right there. Ford stamping. It's got the this piece, perfect shape. Oftentimes you see those broken. Um, it's got the hardware up top that clips it to the back of the seat. Here's the other one. Same kind of thing. This one doesn't have a ding on the side. And it's just really fantastic shape. Stainless all the way through. So he, here's the seat. And you can tell... This is the standard style seat because it has this uh, different type of trim on the side. I'll be pulling that trim off. And actually, I've got new upholstery going into the car that's going to have the comfort weave inserts. So it's truly going to look like what the factory deluxe or luxury interior look like. But here's how these seats go. Once this trim comes off, um, this is the wrong one. Once that factory, the standard trim comes off, these basically cup around the back like this. And it goes around the seat and it creates just this really cool look that you may or may not have seen before. And again, it'll fit nicer because this won't be here. Um, so that is how that piece goes. And then the bottom piece goes down here. And again, it, it fastens um, you know, the correct way and it lines up and man, f f I just think it's really sets off the interior when you've got really nice, uh, deluxe trim, especially that's like this, that's all original stuff. They do reproduce these backs. There's a couple of companies that sell reproduction versions of them and I've not heard anything but nightmare stories about getting it to fit. To my knowledge, they don't make this stainless steel trim reproduction. So, the only way to get that is essentially to find somebody who's selling it, which has been akin to finding hen's teeth, you know, especially in good shape. It's really hard to find. So I am absolutely pleased with this find. Once I get it painted black and I get the new interior uh, upholstery put on these seats, I'm actually going to do new seat um, foam also. So TMI makes this uh, foam called the Sport 2 that's just a little bit more bolstered right here in the sides and at the top right here. 
on the on the I forget what that's called, whatever piece that is. It's a little bit more bolstered to kind of hug you in the seat a little bit better. So I'm going to do the Sport 2, which, again, just visually, it'll still look very much original, just with some slight bolsters. And it'll be black on black with the black comfort weave inserts and with this deluxe trim that's going to be cleaned up stainless and black painted. Um, I mean, it's going to look just like a deluxe interior black car or a deluxe interior, excuse me, any Shelby. All Shelbys, to my knowledge, had this same kind of uh, interior. So uh, I believe this is indistinguishable from a Shelby part. I believe this number right here is the same as a Shelby part number. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong on that. You, A Shelby uh, historian might know a little bit more about that. But again, really cool seat backs. I am excited. Um, these are going to be great. Can't wait to get them in the car. Still have a long way to go, but man, this is going to set off the interior. So let me know if you have any questions. Also, if you've got deluxe interior, drop me a link in the comments. I want to see how yours finished out with, uh, with the trim. I want to see what it looks like, especially if you're running a uh, sport seat to foam with the backing. I don't see that very often. It's going to it's going to poof out the sides a little bit and the bottom a little bit. I'm curious to see what that'll look like. I, I'm, I've confirmed that it'll fit at least, so I know that will be the case. But love to see how the bolster bowed out a little bit with the deluxe seat back looks. So let me know. Thanks, guys.